quantum apocalypse? Are new computers a threat to our way of life? The computers of today use binary code to store information in one of two values, zero or one known as bits, and these computers need time to solve complex problems. Quantum computers operate on a fundamentally different principle. They use quantum bits, qubits for short, allowing them to complete difficult tasks in a split second. The superpower of quantum computers gives them the ability to decipher information 100,000 times faster than the ones typically used today, and that could present significant security risks to classified and personal data, according to the BBC. The vulnerability of encrypted data to quantum systems, if they are, uh, to, they are to one day become widespread, may cause what the uh, scientists are calling quantum apocalypse. Everything we do over the internet today, from buying things online, banking transactions, social media interactions, everything we do is encrypted, said Harry Owen, chief strategy officer at Post Data Quantum. But he says once a functioning quantum computer appears, that will be able to break that encryption. He said it can be almost instantly create the ability for whoever's developing it to clear bank accounts, to completely shut down government defense systems, Bitcoin wallets will be drained. In the meantime, the widespread implementation of quantum computers is not as close as it might seem. The current level of technological development allows the creation of computers with a large number of qubits, but the real challenge is related to the stability of these systems. And like all quantum systems, qubits easily lose a given quantum state when interacting with the environment. It's known as quantum decoherence. At the same time, the number of com uh, computational errors in the operation of a quantum computer is growing. And one example given by experts from British University of Sussex in the UK calculated how much power a quantum computer must have to decrypt SHA-256, the encryption algorithm for Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies in a day. And it turns out that the task requires a quantum computer with 13 million qubits. 317 million qubits would be needed to do this in an hour and 1.9 billion qubits in 10 minutes. As of today, currently the most powerful quantum processor from IBM has 127 qubits, and by 2029, Google plans to conquer the milestone of 1 million qubits. Nevertheless, governments are already taking steps to prevent technologies potentially destabilizing effects by creating lists of firms and hacker groups that are able to break encryption or develop unbreakable encryption. Of course, hacker groups are, you know, growing in leaps and bounds every day. Researchers from tech giants like Google and Microsoft are aiming to stay ahead of the curve by quantum proofing important classified data and implementing post-quantum cryptography algorithms that are stable for quantum computers. At the U.S. National Institute for Science and Technology, NIST, in Washington, D.C., experts are now working on standardizing defense strategy to protect industry, government, academia, and critical national infrastructure against the perils of such quantum apocalypse. So that's nothing, another thing happening in the future. This is by Sputnik Alexandra Kashirina. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my... Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.